Hi, this is Tim Cashel with Barco, and today's tip I want to show or share with you is how to program moving pips. Uh, there's a shortcut way to do this in the EventMaster GUI. So to start off with, I have a pip in my uh, widescreen destination here in preview. And the first thing I'm going to do after placing the pip is I'm going to go to my layer and I'm going to add a keyframe. And then immediately I'm going to arm that keyframe. So now you can see I have my green raster box right around the frame in its current position. Then I'm going to write a preset. So go to my presets tab and I'm going to save a new preset from preview. Okay. So after I do that, I'm going to go back to my adjustments tab and I'm going to delete the keyframe. Now I'm going to move this box to a new position and I can also change its size as part of that. And then again, once I've got it where I like it, I'm going to add keyframe and then immediately arm and then write a preset. So now I have two presets, number 12 and 13 here in my list. So if I recall the first preset, which is 12, and go ahead and execute that preset, what's going to happen is it's going to go to screen just as we expect. Now the other preset, 13, if I click on that and I recall it, what happens is we see the pip has already been programmed to move to the new position. So now if we execute it with an all trans, it moves to that position. Now to reverse it, we select the other preset, preset 12, load it, and again, we see it's ready to fly, and we can fly back to that position. So let's say you want to move multiple windows in the same preset. So here again, I've got my preview and I have three pips sitting on preview. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through each pip and I'm going to add a keyframe for it. Now after I've got all the pips uh, with the keyframe, I'm going to go turn my multi-select on and I'm going to select all of those pips and I'm going to arm them all at once. After I've got them all armed, I'm going to go to my presets tab and I'm going to create a preset and that is my arming uh, armed preset for the move. Now for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and done this uh, for multiple uh, frames with these pips in different positions. So first of all, I'm going to recall my first preset here, number 14, and that is basically what I just programmed for you and I'm going to go ahead and trick that to screens. So now, if I recall preset 15, I'm going to go ahead and look at my live screens here. I'm going to recall it, and next I'm going to execute with the Altrans, and what you see here is the one on the left goes to the top center. Now the next preset will bring the bottom center box to that position, and then the next preset I have is going to bring the far right box to that position. Okay, so just to show you what I'm doing on the GUI itself, I actually have um, three presets here. I am recalling a preset and it is going to move those pips from one position to the other. Now the thing is I can call these out of order. So for instance, if I have three speakers or three teleconferencing uh, systems and whoever is speaking primarily, I can move to an upper position. I can just select that in the preset, recall it, and transition in that speaker to the main position. And the nice thing about this is that it is random, so uh, it doesn't matter who speaks. You can just pick the appropriate preset for whoever is the main speaker at that moment. The key here is to remember that you have to add the keyframes and to arm each of the pips prior to saving it as a preset. All right, all right, this is Tim Show with Barco. Hope you enjoyed this tip.